Hello everyone, this is Jordan Berry, Instructional Designer at Hack, and this video is designed to guide you through the process of setting up your gradebook in D2L using the Setup Wizard. Now it's a pretty straightforward process, but it will help you customize how D2L manages the gradebook, and it will give you a better understanding of how your gradebook operates. If you've already completed the Setup Wizard and are looking to add and manage grade items, click the link at the top of this video. The first thing we'll do to start the setup wizard process once we're logged into our course is click edit course in the top right corner of the nav bar. Now amongst all of these options we're going to click grades here under the assessment category. Next we're going to select setup wizard to ensure that all the settings we want for our gradebook are set. We'll scroll all the way down to the bottom and select start. First, you'll want to select a grading system. We have a number of options here, weighted, points, and formula. For this training session, we're going to stick with the traditional approach and select a points-based grading system. Next, we'll click Continue. Now, on step two of seven, we'll have the option to automatically release the final grade to students. This will allow the gradebook to automatically be updated once you input a new grade so that the students can see the changes in their overall grades in real time. Without that selected, you'll have to publish the final grades for students when you enter new grades into the system. We're going to leave this checked and click continue. Next, we have the option to choose what we want to happen to ungraded items. The default is to drop these ungraded items. That means if you've not yet entered a grade for an assignment in the gradebook that you created, it will not yet count toward the student's final grade. This is probably the preferable option uh, because if you select treat ungraded items as zero, as soon as you create a new assignment or grade item in the gradebook, students will automatically receive a zero for it, which will then lower their final grade and probably cause some confusion amongst them. So we're going to keep this option as it is and again have the final grade automatically updated. And we're going to move on by pressing continue. Now here you get to choose your default grade scheme. You can choose between percentage or letter grades. The standard choice is percentage so I'm going to leave that and click continue. Here it asks us what number of decimal places we want to display in the grade book. For me, two is fine. Of course, you can always change that based on your own personal preference. Um, but for now, we're going to move on here by clicking continue. So this next screen is where we can choose how grades are displayed to students. First, we want them to see the grades as points. So we'll make sure that that top option is selected. And we see options for grade scheme symbols and grade scheme colors. Since we're not setting up grade schemes, we'll leave those unchecked. Now here we can choose how many digits past the decimal place we want students to see when they view the grade book. Two is perfectly fine, so we'll leave that. And next we can determine how many characters for each assignment title will be displayed to students. 15 is the default, and again that can be changed, but that's perfectly fine. Now finally, we want this final grade calculation to be displayed to students in the gradebook, so we'll leave that selected, and we'll click Continue. Now we're provided with our grade setup summary, and we can check that over to make sure that everything is set up the way we want, and once it looks good, we can click Finish at the bottom of the screen. All right, great, so now we're finished with the setup wizard and we no longer have to worry about that tab anymore. And really we're only gonna be dealing with the enter grades and manage grades tabs from now on. So in the next video, we'll look at how to add grade items, how to manage grades, and how to link assessment tools in D2L like Dropboxes, quizzes, and discussion posts to the gradebook. As always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to the CDI team. Best of luck.